Hey guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I fill in my eyebrows. Um, I filmed this a few weeks ago and I upload or I didn't upload it. I got it onto my computer and I was editing it. I had it almost completely edited. I just had to get the intro and outro there and something happened and then like it's gone. It's gone. I don't know what happened. The sound is not there anymore and it's just black when I try to watch it on iMovie. So I don't know what happened. I have the worst luck with technology, I swear. Um, so I'm like, I will just film it again, I guess, because I really did want to put this video out there because I think it'd be a helpful video because I don't really have any brows and like right now it looks like I have pretty good brows. So I thought be really helpful to show you how to fill in brows, especially when you don't have much to work with, like me. So yeah, if you want to see how I fill in my brows, then you can just keep on watching. Okay, so what you'll need for today's video is a brow pencil. Um, this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz one. Um, a brow gel. I just like to use a clear one, but you can use whatever color matches your brows as well. And then a concealer to clean up the brows. And again, it doesn't really matter if you can just use whatever you have on hand. So, also if you don't have a spoolie on your pencil, you'll need a, smooth, a spoolie. But mine already has one on it, so that's what we're going to start with. So I just like, so as you can tell, I have like no brows. So it's a bit of a process for me. If you already have naturally fuller, thicker brows, this won't be as long of a process and you are blessed, but I have no brows, so... It's a bit of a process, but I just wanted to show you how you can really uh, create some full brows when you really don't have much to start off with. So I just like to go through and brush through my brows with a spoolie and just kind of get them in the best shape that they can be with the shape that they are. Okay, And then I just flip over. And oh, by the way, I'm in the shade um, medium brown. And I just like to start the inner corner and kind of create a little line to kind of outline my brows, like where I want the shape to be. And I just try to follow um, the bottom of my brow hairs because they're super sparse right here. Um, and then just draw the line to connect to where my brow's more full, which is right in the middle. even that just helps a lot already um, and then I like to brush uh, go upwards with like hair like strokes and just kind of follow the direction of how your hairs naturally lie so then they kind of start going that way so then I'll just follow the way my hair lies and then for the top part, I kind of have some liner hairs that I can kind of follow as a guideline. I just to, like to overline them a little bit and then just bring it down a little farther out than where they naturally are just because I want it to be a little thicker. And then just kind of fill it in. And you can kind of, if you get a little too thick, you can always just easily wipe it away. And the concealer will help as well when we get to that step. So then I just like to kind of put my mirror up and make sure I don't have any like weird gaps going on. Where you can like visibly see, oh there's pencil and there's her actual hair. Um, yeah, I just like to double check that because I have had that happen before. And my husband has blended it out, so... I just like to double check and just keep brushing through it and like already, I mean they don't look amazing but they already look so much better and fuller um, and then I just like to go through at the very front and just brush through extra just so it's a little lighter and not as dark there so it has that more faded effect Make sure everything 
lines up well and there's no like weird shapes going on. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave that as it is for now because um, we're going to go in with concealer in just a minute and kind of clean it up and make it not quite as thick because it would just look a little thick right now. <laughs> Um, so we're just going to go ahead and move on to the other eyebrow, and then we'll come back to this one. Okay, so that one is pretty much done for now. Um, and I did forget to mention one thing that you want to kind of remember when you're filling your brows. You want this corner to kind of line up with the end. So if you just take the brush that you have and kind of lay it across, you want it, those to kind of line up. Um, and you, so you want the inner corner to kind of start matching up with your tear duct um, and so if it doesn't you can always uh, if it starts in further you can always just create some hair like strokes that go in a little deeper so like I, or a little further so that's what I have to do a lot of times um, I just have to add a couple extra just so it kind of lines up and they're not so far apart because I kind of like them like a little closer together um, but yeah so that's that <laughs> forgot to mention that the first time. Okay, so and now we're going to go on with the concealer. I'm using the Naked Skin Concealer because that's the one I have right now um, from Urban Decay, but it really doesn't matter, at least in my opinion. Um, most concealers work just fine. And then you want to take any flatter brush I'll give you a couple options. So one that is really nice is the e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow brush. It's a pretty thin brush, as you can see, so you know it's not super thick and you don't want anything that's too thick because you want to be able to create a precise line. Um, then the other one is this one from Morphe. It's an eyeliner brush. Um, it's angled and stuff. It doesn't really have to be angled, but it's just like so thin that you can really get a nice line. And then Sometimes I'll do that, and then I'll just use this to kind of bring the extra concealer on my eyelid. So I just grab a little concealer from the back of my hand, and just follow the line. And this is why I like to do my brows first normally, because then you can just kind of bring that concealer down and use it as like an eyeshadow primer and stuff as well. And then just gonna clean up on the top. And then just grabbing that other brush, just gonna drag the product down and blend it out. Point it out up there. And sometimes uh, when you're cleaning up, the product can uh, kind of drag your like eyebrow pencil product down a little further, so you can just kind of clean it up because you don't want that to be like a streak down further. Let's clean that up. And I just like mine to be as clean as possible, so just and I feel like that's pretty good. So we'll go on to the other eye. And then sometimes you might have to go back in a little bit with your pencil and just touch up. And then just brush through again. Just so they look a little softer. Okay, and then I just like to finish up with a brow gel just so they stay in place all day and they don't have any weird hairs poking up. Um, and this one is from Blink and it's just their eyebrow mousse in the clear. And I just wanted to uh, do like a couple other tips that I think are really important. Um, so like. I never used to think that I needed to get my eyebrows waxed because then, like, I have no brows. Like, I can just pluck the stray ones that, you know, I get. 
because I don't want them to like over wax them and like make them even less than they are because like that would not be good. But I started getting my eyebrows waxed while I was working at a salon and it makes all the difference because they like trim your eyebrow hairs and stuff so they're not so like long and like crazy so that helps a bunch and it just gives you like a clean shape and also if you do have thinner brows but you you know you like to fill them in and you have like a shape that you like go get your brows done with them filled in because that way they kind of have the uh, outline of where to wax and stuff and where not to pass and stuff um, and yeah it'll like takes off some of the product but like it helps a lot with not like making sure they don't take off too much so that is I want to just put that out there because it has like really changed my brow game so I just wanted to put that out there. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the uh, comments below. Let me know if you did find it helpful and don't forget to follow me on all my social media. I'll have my Instagram and Twitter and my blog down in the description box. And also, if you would like to see a video on this look, let me know. I really like it actually. It's super like neutral on the eyes but then I added like I don't know if you can see but I added like a royal blue color on my lower lash line and I think it's really pretty so yeah if you want to see how I create this look uh, definitely let me know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up and I believe that is everything and I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you all in my next video bye guys